I'm going to show you a couple examples of the E Hero Joshi scale. Um, you'll see on screen there's three versions of it for a guitar anyway. Um, uh, at the bottom, the uh, notes are laid out so you can play it pretty much with any instrument that's uh, in C. Uh, the notes are E, F, A, B, and C. And uh, probably the best way to think about it as, is as a subset of C major or a subset of, probably better said, as a subset of E Phrygian. Um, take a listen to the scales. I'm going to give you the across the board version, the diagonal version, and a single string version. Check them out. This one's in position. This next one's diagonal. down one string. As far as the scale analysis, you have a 1, flat 2, 4, 5, and flat 6. Once again, that's E, F, A, B, and C as the only notes in this pentatonic scale. As far as possible chords, you have F major, A minor, and F major 7 available. Um, if you take two note sets capable of, say, implying certain chords, you can apply C major using C and E. You can apply G7 using B and F. You can apply A5 with the A and E. You can apply F5 with the F and C, and you can apply E5 with the E and the B. I find that if you're trying to sound more traditional Japanese, just go with more of a counterpoint sort of thing, as opposed to trying to stuff it into a Western kind of triadic system. Um, what's coming up is just uh, first like a little theme, and just uh, I kind of use the scale to solo on it, used kind of some little chords. Um... After this, you're going to hear just the theme so you can solo on it yourself and experiment with it.
oh, here's going to be the just the theme. So you could just use it like a backing track and kind of like test your ideas on it. And here goes. Thank you. 